Welcome back to Fire Emblem Echoes! Last time we explored the Seabound Shrine, and now we're going to be completing our sea journey. So we've got two maps here, the fourth pirate raid, because there are just so many. <laughs> to be fair, one of them wasn't really a pirate raid anymore, because an old man did murder the pirates on board. Uh, that being said, this is kind of just a normal map. Uh, obviously, we're going to want a choke point because there's a lot of pirates. Uh, but they've also got archers that does make things a little more difficult. And I'm just trying to figure out who's going to go first. <laughs> what order do we go in? Alright, but yeah, we're speeding this one up because this one will take a little bit. Valbar is, of course, your best choice to plug up the enemies because he doesn't care if they're ranged or not. Uh, he will just kind of tank them. <laughs> Leon also gets the ability to class change here, uh, so he can be a sniper. Uh, and then, of course, uh, somebody just had to have a conversation <laughs> right here. If it isn't Leon... Hmm, if it isn't Kamui... I normally don't give a tinker's damn what folks think of me, but ouch. I mean, I'm hardly chopped liver here. So, what then? Are you trying to get me to hit on you or something? What? No, that's not what I'm... Because you're really not my type. And you're only a percent of a percent of the man Valbar is. I think you may be overstating things just a tad there. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess the rest of those conversations are just going to be a straight man trying to <laughs> get a gay man to be into him. <laughs> now, I'm not... I'm not gay, but... How do you not think I'm sexy? Hold the phone. Alright, so yeah, uh, obviously, of course, uh, Jenny can be useful here. Uh, if you want to summon ghosts, uh, as always, that is a valid strategy. Uh, they will also do a great job at just kind of blocking up the pirates. <laughs> Though you might dislike them for doing so. <laughs> they will get in the way. If that's what you want, then, you know, that's fine, but yeah, it's something to consider. Invoke is basically just... I would like this map to kind of just happen for a bit. <laughs> I, I just want other people to do some stuff. I'm going to set this one out. I won't get EXP for this, but hey. Uh, some of the later maps, of course, uh, the spirits aren't going to survive like a full army. But here especially, they can tank a little bit more than you might expect. They can kind of just survive the pirates without too much issue. Also, Jesus, you're getting doubled by Valbar? You got doubled by Valbar? Yar, I knew I shouldn't have worn the iron boots. <laughs> the captain said I needed the waiting training boots! I told you to take them off before the fight, you idiot! Alright, so unfortunately, the archer did go over there to heal. Uh, it's been a while since I've mentioned it, but yeah, that that is like the main strategy of enemies. Uh, if you cut them once, if there's a healing pad, they will probably run straight to it and try to heal. Sometimes that can be useful, because it lets you, like, break up an attacking force. Yeah, sometimes you just need to take some heat off you, and the enemy will often say, Well, I mean, we could probably attack the healer, because, like, you know, there's a wide open spot, but, like, some guy poked me, and it really hurt, so I need to go eat some oranges. <laughs> Guys, I need my comfort oranges. <laughs> Bowie, chill. No! You've not needed either of these crits. I mean, he hasn't, but like, he has to show off somehow. 
Uh, I feel like he misses often, and so he will attempt to make up for it by just critting. <laughs> what a character with low skill do this? Alright, well now I'm in the uncomfortable position of, boy, these guys sure are going to be on the heel pads for a while if I don't just kill them. <laughs> So, this is where uh, the, the majors are going to have to come in. You can't hit me, I'm standing next to oranges. <laughs> Except Valbar actually got pretty lucky on a 54. I didn't expect him to, I just kind of wanted to get him in the way, but no, nope, he did finish it. Safely. All right, and that's another pirate raid down. There is one more standing between us and Zofia. The fifth pirate raid. Which, um, much like a previous pirate raid, it's not really pirates anymore. It's, it's just mages. <laughs> the mages took over another boat. That's just their thing. No, we're pirates. Y yar. Uh, Yar Har Fiddle Dee Dee casting magic. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now magic users are going to be uh, a much better tank. Because <laughs> we've just got so many mages. Uh, provided Jenny can land hits, uh, which, you know, as always, isn't a guarantee with Nosferatu, but if she can land hits, she is a bit self-sustaining. But yeah, the, the main difficulty with, uh, making mages your tanks is, if they take damage, that is a little more risky. Uh, cause as always, uh, Casting probably isn't going to be the death of you, but if you're not careful, it can become a little much. Oh, and did I ever point out that Jenny has Physic now? She has Physic. That's a long-range healing. Okay, cool. Uh, by the way, yes, uh, these mages can also heal. <laughs> So, yeah, you're just gonna Damn. have some mages trying to flame Damn. fire at you, and and then just a bunch of old men going, Oh, don't worry, Greg! Don't worry, I'll save you! You completely obliterated their ability to fight you, though. Like, one person threw an attack at you that turn. Yeah, th much like with the, the healing uh, pad thing, uh, it, it is the same idea. If you do just a ton of damage to them... Or, you know, a lot of little damage to various units. They are just going to waste time healing. They did keep the admittedly overcautious AI of Gaiden. <laughs> they kept that intact. Damn it, Leon. And Leon failed to kill an old man. You almost had him. Yeah, um, what I find interesting about this is that this is a strategy that shows up more often in Advance Wars. Uh, because of the way damage is calculated in that game, units at lower health do less damage. Yeah, so you need to heal if that's a thing you can do. So, you will know, if you fuck up a person's stuff enough, chances are they're going to either combine units or try to find a quick rest stop. You know, whatever is, whatever makes sense for the unit. Yeah. And sometimes you're better off just hitting every unit you can, rather than trying to actually finish off any of them. Yeah. Because then that's just a lot less damage overall. Look, there's only up to four sides you can attack a character from, and that works in both Advance Wars and uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, four sides and, of course, ranged units, but, you know. That's other rules. Either way, it's still limit limiting. Yeah. 
<laughs> Very dramatic old man. Hot damn. <laughs> and Kamui can also be a Myrmidon now. Wow, everything went well for Kamui there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's why I have not been harsh on Kamui at all, uh, because I am, like, well in advance of uh, when we do the commentary recordings for these, so... I already kind of knew the Kamui is going to be, uh, very good. Kamui's kind of just been whipping ass this whole time. Like, he's not going to be happy at the end of this fight. He's taking a lot of magic shots, but he's doing very well. Yeah, I forget what makes his stat distribution different from Saber. Like, technically speaking, uh, we have two mercenaries, but they are actually fairly different uh, overall. They do a pretty good job of differentiating the classes, or the, the characters, even though there aren't a lot of classes in this game. And here we are at Zofia Harbor. Whew. We finally arrived. Zofia Harbor, at last. That was quite a journey. Ah, you've come! You've truly come! Hmm? Welcome, my lady priestess. I hear it was you what rid us of Barth and his band of pirates. A real blessing that was. Can't thank you enough. Oh, it was nothing so grand. In fact, it was the least a person could do. To be honest, it was as much for my own sake as it was yours. Grivens, but that's a thing to say. Your strength and generosity are matched only by your modesty, milady. We were at our wit's end dealing with those seaborne thugs, and no mistake. So whatever your reasons, you've done us a fine service. Do let me thank you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Maybe she couldn't, but I sure could. Where's the pub around here, friend? Just this way, sir, just this way. First round's on me, it is. Now hold on just a... Saber, get back here! Uh, Miss Priestess, ma'am, I also wanted to thank you. I can send my husband to sea now, without sleepless nights of worry. Oh, well, I... I see. That's... I'm very glad to hear it. Yes, well, thank you again, ma'am. May the Mother's blessings guide you. reception we're getting, huh, Salika? I've been getting thanked left and right, too. Kinda makes the fighting worth it. <laughs> Your tune changes more easily than a traveling minstrel's. Back on the ship, it was all belly aching. Mostly about your aching belly. Hey, I was seasick. It's a medical thing. And you're hardly one to talk, Bowie. You were drooling all over yourself after that buxom maid offered her thanks. I did no such thing. <laughs> now look what you've done, you boob! You've got Celica laughing at us again! Not at all. I'm proud of you both for all your hard work. I never truly realized how rewarding it was to help others like this. It's a wonderful feeling, and we're blessed to be able to... Wow, people really appreciate it when you kill the Pirate King. How nice! I was going to say you're a priestess, have you never helped anyone else before, but then I thought about that sentence a few more times. <laughs> Yeah, she's a priestess, and also on a solitary island, hiding away from the rest of the world. <laughs> she's a bit sheltered. I was just making a joke about organized religion, but sure. Oh yeah, I was building off that, though. Well, less building and more just pointing out the actual plot points. Oh hey, Black Pearl, neat. Selka just arrived at port and started stealing stuff. She just took a fish. Alright, so, here's the man who is the reason we needed five coral. Oh, well, I mean, let's listen to his woeful tale. <laughs> you really wanted to click that no, huh? <laughs> Selka hesitated. She could see his nameplate, but she was confusing him with the JoJo character. Alright, it's really nice to be able to help people. Oh me, oh my, I have a wealthful tale! Uh, I, guess, I guess maybe today is the day I, I test how good I could feel. Let's really experiment with this. 
<laughs> What's the cutoff point? Today is gonna be the day that I tell this guy to fuck right off. Alright, so yes, Alessia wants five pieces of coral. However, he will not accept them all at once. Oh no. You have to sell each one individually. I, I don't know why. I guess maybe they just had trouble, like, portioning out the silver marks or something. If you, like, could only give one at a time and then give the rest. I, I don't know. I can see this being useful if you only had a couple. So, like, you could get some silver marks without having to go all the way back. Like, that's the thing. You might not have all five, because they are random drops. But it is weird that they don't let you just sell as many as you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and by the way, uh, the reason I wanted to get all five at once is because we can't quite go back to the Seabound Shrine yet. Uh, we'd have to skip a whole lot to get back to the map, and I just wanted to get it done here. It's not that you're locked out from the Seabound Shrine or anything. Uh, it's just <laughs> I didn't want to have to play the story segments, go back there, and then come back just for this guy. It sounded kind of tedious. Alright, time for more stuff to steal. Da -da -da. I mean, this Yoink. soup was cold. Nobody was going to drink this cold soup, because soup never comes cold. It, it was clearly hot, and then it got cold, and now we're stealing it. Somebody walks in, what happened to my tomato bisque? <gasps> it was a delicious bisque, and someone absconded with it. I think that's how you pronounce it. Should have said gazpacho, that's also served cold, and I know how to pronounce that one. Did you hear some pirate dogs made for Great Citadel with a girl in tow? It's truth, a brave sellsword staying at the pub even took after the poor dear. But Great ain't the sort you cross and live to speak of. Nasty fellow he is. From Cutpurse to Corsair, every thief in Sophia answers to a man called Greeth. Even the pirate king Barth was but one of his henchmen. Greeth's citadel stands tall in the desert. Colossal thing it is. That's where they hold all the captains. I see Greeth is the thief emperor. So all the, the thief kings have to answer to him. We're going by Crusader King rules. Oh, and who's that behind Greeth? Zero miss? No! Alright, so here's a side quest I can't do quite yet. I mean, no, I, I would love to, like, uh, I, I could show you my empty pockets, but yeah, uh, can't make cookies yet. We will be able to soon. For the time being, though, let's see, what we what are we looking at? I mean, we're, we're not looking at that cold soup. Okay, I think I'm just looking through uh, this. I mean, we already have cookies, but that's not good enough. So yeah, we've got some of the ingredients we need. The main thing we're missing is the uh, honey. That's a little harder to come by. But come by it, we will. It's... it's like a dream. The pirates scuttled. Zofia Castle free. I keep asking people to pinch... The castle is freed? How do you mean? Didn't you hear? The Deliverance have run to say out of the castle. Word is, they have a new leader who led the attack himself. He's a young lad, and claims to be the grandson of General Meissen. Whoever he is, the boy brought the entire army back from the brink. General Meissen? Grandpapa? Are you certain of this? Of course I am. Wouldn't do a man to repeat baseless rumor now, would it? The boy's a dock of the kingdom. A hero's grandson turned hero himself. Oh, God. And the person leading the deliverance is... It's like the dawn of a new day for us. Think, we've got a hero on our side. The deliverance forces are holding in Sophia Castle for now. But there's talk of them taking up the march again before long. They won't stop till there's nary a regalian dog left on Sophian soil. Then they mean to march on the Rebellion army? Oh, oh, how can you be so reckless? Uh, Celica, is everything all right? You look pale as a shade. 
did Bowie tell some stupid ghost story again? No, I'm... I'm fine, thank you. But... Might we travel to Zofia Castle before setting out for the temple? There's something I need to see for myself there. At the castle? You know we would follow you anywhere, milady, but... Is that wise? It's been years, Bowie. No one there would recognize me as I am now. Hmm? What's this now? Uh, nothing! Nothing at all! Just talking about... about... that maid. You know, the lovely one who was asking after you over at the pub? Said something about wanting to give whoever sank those pirates her thanks? Did she now? Well, a hero mustn't spurn a lady's wishes. dreamt of you for so long. Dreamt I might see you again. But please, not like this. The leader of the Deliverance? I pray this is some horrible mistake. Still, I'll only know for sure once I see for myself. Hey, you two are familiar. <laughs> Wash with talk of it. You must be very strong. I am Pala. I hail from Arcanea to the east. If I might ask, did you happen to see a young girl in the lair of those pirates? No? Alas, then she was taken elsewhere. I am Katria. I'm traveling with my sister Pala in search of our younger sister Est. She was taken by pirates. We followed them this far, but now the trail has gone cold. I'm eager to find her so the three of us can return together to Arcanea. Alright, so anyway, yeah, that's Paula and Katria. Uh, they have come to this other continent, but unfortunately, uh, they have other business, so they're just going to be here for a bit. Meanwhile, Selica's got to steal some more stuff and talk to cats. Oh, Mr. Kitty. Can I tell you about Alm? I hear he's the leader of the Deliverance now, and that's fucked up. That makes me sad for some inexplicable reason. So, instead of heading to the castle just yet, I actually want to go south. You might not think to do this because, you know, our next story point is up there, but we can't have Selica come back to Ram Village. Ram Village. How I've missed this place. I wonder how everyone's doing. <sighs> For a proper looking little lady, you sure pull some crazy stunts, lass. I didn't think I'd be bum rushing a pirate fort as soon as I took this job. Doesn't exactly bode well for the future, if I'm honest. Huh? You promise no more detours? <laughs> that and some gold can buy me a pint. Alright, so, the cool thing about this is, Celica does indeed have her own reactions to all of the stuff around town. <laughs> she is <laughs> calling out Tobin for shooting sex. Uh, she's happy to be back to the village, however, it feels like she's criticizing everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't going to stop intruders, these are shitty barricades. Oh wow, Gray, good job, you fucking stabbed some fences, idiot. She's talking about this place like she's been here longer than a week. Yeah. Celica? Is that you, dear? Well, isn't this a delight? What a lovely woman you've become. Last I recall, you were just a sprout. Oh, Selica, how long has it been? The village may look the same, but it's a different place these days. The young ones have all up and left, what with the war. I just pray they all return to us. You mean always you were here for a week? I'm sorry to think that, like, maybe we aren't supposed to take um, the prologue, literally. <laughs> it might have just been different writers. My sin! Grandpapa, it's me! Hmm, not here. I wonder where he's gone. 
some people are like, okay, in story, she cannot be here for very long. But everyone else is like, okay, she had a childhood here. <laughs> How long was it? I don't know. I haven't talked to the boss. The thing is, everything in this story makes so much more sense if she did spend, like, years here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, this sheep's still alive. All right, so that's pretty much everything for Ram Village. However... Uh, this does not work for a lot of characters. Uh, for every character you can recruit, uh, you know, unless they're part of the story, uh, the game will ask you, do you want to recruit them or not? Uh, there is unique dialogue for rejecting characters. I haven't bothered with it because it makes me sad. Uh, however, if you do not recruit Cliff and Faye as Alm, and you just leave... Selica can actually come back to Ram Village and recruit the both of them. Again, I don't think it's particularly useful because Cliff works best as a mage, we've got plenty of mages, and Faye either works as a cleric, which we'll have a decent number of, or a Pegasus Knight. You could probably guess by the fact that the uh, Pegasus Knights from Arcanea were, you know, in a town Selka visited, but we're going to have Pegasus Knights. <laughs> so I don't think they particularly fill a niche. And the other problem is, uh, Cliff and Faye do not have supports with anybody in Selka's party, except Selka herself. However, they're not support conversations. Uh, there are some supports that are just, if you've spent enough time together, you do get some stat boosts, but nothing more. There's no storyline with them. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, if you send Cliff and Faye on Selica's route, they're not going to be starving for uh, stat supports. They'll at least have the main character that they can support with. Saber can class change, very nice, just in time. Uh, so they can do that. Uh, they, they have Selica to lean on, but you miss out on some actual, like, character development for those characters, or character story, for basically the entire game. Uh, there is a post-game where characters can interact a bit more, but yeah. Like, Faye's got Alm, and she's got Silk to talk to, Cliff's got Tobin. You're missing out on a lot if you don't send those two with Alm. And again, they do make for better character... Niche-wise, they work better as characters on Alm's route. But it is pretty cool that you can recruit them as Selica. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's really neat. That? <laughs> I also didn't really want to fuck with these guys here, so, uh, surprise, 21 episodes in. We're finally going to learn what a back attack looks like. You're probably not going to see this too often, but yeah, enemies get a chance to move, and, uh characters you don't get to choose where characters start bowie misses but that's incidental but yeah uh actually i tell a lie you might see back attacks for different reasons but yeah that's the general idea enemy turn is first you don't get to choose your starting position which is absolutely the uh bigger of the two problems Uh, regarding the characters that you can recruit. It is a cool thing, but it does feel like there's not a good story reason, and there's not a good gameplay reason to ever do it like that. Yeah, we we'll already discussed the gameplay reasons, and like... Yeah, Cliff just fits so much better with the Ram Village boys anyway, so like, why would you not take him? And then Faye is obsessed with Alm, so of course she would want to tag along. Like, in theory, I guess since they're kind of just like the youngest and kind of the weakest, maybe Alm would say, no, I'm, I'm going to leave them behind so they don't get hurt or something like that. But honestly, that doesn't seem super in character because uh, Alm has otherwise no qualms about bringing those two along. I have seen some people ship uh, Faye and other characters on Selica's route because she needs to have some kind of healthy relationship that's not pining over Alm. And so, yeah, that's that's kind of the reason for that, I guess. Uh, there is actual, it can happen in the game, uh, sorts of things. 
What if, what if Faye was not around, Alm? And man, I kind of wish that was taken into account and she just had uh, her own support conversation that was like unique to this. Where she actually had, uh, oh, we get to show off Aura now, cool. Uh, Aura is very strong. As I said before, uh, Seraphim's not a replacement for it and is stupid powerful. <laughs> anyway, though, yeah, like, it would be kind of cool if Cliff and Faye did get their own unique supports and, like, they were actually kind of, they reflected reasons that they weren't taken along or, you know, maybe in story they decided to not come along to make you feel less bad for making that choice as a player. Because it's a cool little secret thing, but yeah, there's really not much of a purpose to do it. Uh, and again, um, these are the only two characters in the game who that really applies to. Uh, any other characters you can leave behind, don't try to re recruit them as Selka. Uh, I looked it up, and some people have said, like, they're out and out, like, not there anymore. So, like, somebody apparently tried to recruit Silk with Selka, and, you know, Silk just Didn't wasn't think here. I'd be storming a pirate fort today when I got up this morning. When you decide to do something, milady, you really go for it. Times like that, it really hits home how we were born into different stations. Me? I just go through life focused on whatever's right in front of me. I hope this journey will teach me to see things with a broader perspective. Yeah, that was just a nice sentiment. And we've already talked to Saber, so let's do some class changes. We've got a small handful of them. I guess the one thing uh, <laughs> about uh, recruiting Cliff and Faye as Celica is they are very good villagers. Like they're they're very solid villager characters who can go different directions. Uh, you have a fair bit of freedom and choice. Uh, I'm not going to say they're Celica's only villagers or anything, potential villagers, but you know. If you want Selica to have good villagers, well, you can recruit Cliff and Faye. Alright, well, anyway, so yeah, uh, Saber and Kamui are both going to be Myrmidons at the same time, so they get to, uh, go into the class change together. Oh, and, uh, I don't remember if I remembered to mention this when we started doing class changes, but, uh, the level up bonuses you get uh, when changing classes, uh, typically in Fire Emblem, whenever you do a class change, it has like set this stat gets like two or three or whatever. Uh, in this game, it's actually a threshold. So uh, certain cat classes have thresholds of stats. So when you uh, class change a character, if they were kind of lacking in that stat before, uh, you might see better gains for that character than somebody who went into the same class. Leon here, however, is already perfect, so all he got was 5 HP and, you know, the extra one movement. Leon is too strong as it is. If there was a strength and a speed that he, you know, might not have been at, well, not true. He was absolutely at that threshold. Alright, so anyway, I'm done fighting pirates now. Uh, oh, sorry, bandits. <laughs> sorry, these, these are the land pirates. I'm just so used to the ocean now. I'm, I'm an ocean person. I use ocean terminology. Alright, so it is now the 54th day of whatever this month is. First, second, who knows. Let's go to the castle. Sweet jumping jesters, now this is a castle. It's huge. I mean huge. And it's gorgeous. Keep it down, would you, May? We're not here to gawk at the sights like a band of slack-jawed wayfarers. Whatever, Professor Funslayer. Even you have to admit it's great. I never said it wasn't impressive. A far cry from the ramshackle fishing huts we grew up in, that's for sure. I know, right? Can you imagine living in a place like this? With servants and meat pies and... <clears throat> oh, right. 
Shoot, Celica, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to... Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think we'll just go on ahead. <gasps> What's going on here? What do you mean? Those two's eyes near fell out when they saw this place. But you ain't impressed. What? N no, I'm very impressed. Speechless, actually. That's all. Uh-huh. Well, whatever you say, lass. Let's get inside already. I never thought I'd set foot in these halls again. But this is to see Ulm. And in that case, enough. I need to hurry. What's wrong? Join me, O oh child of fate. Come to Lord Duma's side. These must be the remnants of Desay's blasted army. We're not deliverance, you idiots. Leave us out of this. These aren't Desay's men, Saber. They're... I think they're here for me. Well, they're gonna have you at this rate. Damn those two morons for running off and leaving us. Their giddy little sightseeing tour is gonna get us killed. Ah! Celica! Be gone, you base filth. You are unfit to lay hand or eye upon the young woman. Who, who are you? My name is a greater boon than you deserve. If you would keep your heads, you must depart this place at once. You dare to! Enough! Ignore the newcomer! Take the girl by force! Who are you, sir? Hmm. My name matters not for Anonis. In time, all will be made clear. No more words. Fight. Unless you wish to leave this place in chains. Right. Alright, so we have an ally for this fight, and dang, we got a cavalier on our side. Nice. Well, we don't really have much to really work with, uh, or fight against, rather. Well, no, no, we don't have much to work with either. Uh, we've got Selga and we've got Saber, but we do have this, uh, beefed up NPC here, in case for some reason you suck, but, like, Selka's opening with a crit, so I think we're good. Like, Selka opened with a crit, and while these are, you know, mages and therefore, uh, kind of painful, to somebody with low resistance. Saber did just get a class change, so I think he's good. Although that being said, uh, Masked Knight here uh, isn't doing the most damage. I mean, he's tanking magic like a pro, so he probably won't die. I was gonna say, he's got absurd resistance. Yeah, he's way better than most of the characters in this game at resistance. He is better than a vast majority <laughs> of the characters. So yeah, he can probably survive, but you'll want to do damage yourself. Otherwise, this is gonna take a hot minute. <laughs> that was quite the death scream there, guy. <laughs> he was cut very badly. It was a horrifying death for this man. I see, this guy's not a moron. <laughs> Hmm, I think I'll attack the guy who doesn't have stupid eight, uh, resistance. For some reason, that man doesn't look fireproof. <laughs> you look like a man who would take zero damage if this weren't Fire Emblem Echoes, so... Hmm, not going after you. Too slow. Also, to be fair, he's... Masked Knight here does have a crit of 10, which is pretty solid. It's a, it's a pretty good crit rate. I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't actually procced any. Way to go, Celica! I mean, I was kind of hoping you'd hit one of those. I was kind of doing that with the express purpose of, you know, weakening this man, but alright. <laughs> Healed from a kick. <laughs> this is my heal heal. <laughs> 
Also, uh, he got Earth's Boon, which basically just drops a, a healing item uh, when you use it. I think you have to kill with it. Hey, future me, do you have to kill the proc Earth's Boon, or can you just use it and be fine? Uh, I basically never use it, though, because, like, I don't particularly need them. I really only use healing items for fatigue. Uh, it said, you actually, past you actually has your back. She checked the uh, description. It said, drops food when foes are defeated. Okay, so yeah, it is, it is proc on death. I kind of figured that would be the case, because, like, it would be broken if it just always dropped food forever. But to be fair, you only have a limited inventory space, and again, healing items are, aren't are the most useful thing just because of how healing works between battles and how inventory works. So I don't think it's like the most useful skill. You're never gonna be low on food items. Yeah. I just like that both Future You and Past You have to explain to you what that technique does. Miller has seen us through safely. They're going to unionize if you're not careful. Gar, Fall back! Retreat! But know this, girl! Nothing will stay us from our purpose! The enemy is retreating! We did it! You have my thanks, good sir. But I must ask again, who are... Huh? If you're looking for the fop in the mask, he took off already. What was he on about anyway? Some friend of yours or the like? I honestly have no idea. Well, ain't that reassuring. <laughs> Guess we'll chuck that mystery on the pile along with whoever attacked us. I suppose we will. Though for what it's worth, I still don't believe they were Desai's men. They were more like that man who tried to take me prisoner at sea. But who would want to take me captive? And for what purpose? Damn that masked vermin! Fie and fie again! Now I must explain to Jeddah how we failed to secure the girl. Beg pardon, friend. You with the Regellian army, perchance? <sighs> Who asks such of me? Soft, friend, soft. I'm not your enemy. I was working under Desai, but those damned rebels ran us out of the castle. I was thinking I might defect to Regal. In exchange for my services, of course. <laughs> and you expect me to trust a man who so utterly lacks shame? You sure you can afford not to? You just got your scrawny hides kicked trying to kidnap one little girl. You really want to go back to the boss man empty-handed? <sighs> See... I know about this little forest northwest of Sophia Castle. And in this forest, there's a village. Hey there, Priestess. How you holding up? If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. I'm serious. No need to hold back. I owe you my life, after all. Gives me chills to think how I could have died before getting revenge. My family owes you as well, so it's up to me to pay you back on their behalf. Everyone's laughing and cheering, but my gut's one big knot. Only a fool'd think the Regellian Empire would back down without a fight. Emperor Rudolph's Order of Knights are scary enough. But what about that Duma priest Jeddah and his horde of Arcanists? How are normal folks supposed to fight against men who conjure terrors? Three huzzas for Zofia's liberators, and three huzzas for all! Truly, he is the hero Zofia has been waiting for. And he's every bit the champion General Meissen was. Make no mistake, the Regellian Empire is as fearsome a foe as they come. But with Alm leading our forces, we needn't fear any man! Terrors, on the other hand, uh, still kind of a problem. Alright, what do you think about these doors, Selica? Alright, well, we already know that Selica used to live here, so yeah, that's just gonna be her commentary is just, dang, I know all this shit. 
I'm just gonna get to the roof and go, oh, and there's the sun. I'm not gonna stare at it, because I'm not an idiot. Hi, Mr. Sun. You won't even get a passing glance from me. All right, well, the treasure vault, of course, has already been raided by, you know, me, but with a different main character. So, nothing here for old Celica. Uh, to be honest, uh, you could leave the stuff uh, here for Celica if you wanted to. I feel Alm gets more use out of it. To be fair, uh, you could also leave the, uh, the wood splitting axe all the way at the start of the game in Ram Village, and have Selka pick that up, and... Look, it's not game-breaking if you don't do that, but oddly enough, I probably should have kept that in mind. Oh, and Cheese Lover here, uh, does not have a portrait, does not have a voice. So, you have a side quest. The side quest is, we must give this man cheese. How positively meager! This cheese sucks okay, ass. Okay, none of this. <laughs> none of this sounds good, cheese lover. I don't think that's what democratic means. <laughs> All right, well, we got honey. I I did need that, so thanks. Are you headed for the temple of Milo, Lady Priestess? Oh, I do wish you'd reconsider. That whole area is crawling with thieves working in the employ of grief. The very ground itself is rotten. Hunks of cliffside slough off near every day. You might easily find yourself with no way back. So be careful, okay? Sure, to say and those Regellian thugs turned tail and ran. But our crops still aren't growing and we've no shortage of terrors. What do you suppose could have happened to Mila? Some men have gone to the temple to investigate, but none have returned. I say we've bigger problems than fighting a war, but no one asks me. Yeah, but I ask young woman not about her opinions. No. Why would they ever do that? Alright, what do you think about these doors, Celica? You remember these doors? Yeah. <laughs> doors. Ah. Uh... So yeah, uh, Cheese Lover, of course, uh, will want more cheese over time, so if you find new, exciting types of cheeses, take them back to him, and he'll give you stuff. <laughs> this throne sucks ass, I hate being here. On second thought, Sophia sucks, and I hate it. We're gonna give Cheese Lover some pepper jack, and it's gonna blow his mind. Look, Cheese Lover, just, just have some fucking mozzarella. Please. For me. Grandpapa? What are you doing here? It's been so very long, Selica. Oh, Grandpapa! I'd half resigned myself to never seeing you again. As had I. And yet here you are, grown into a beautiful young woman. Though I fear we lack the time for a leisurely reunion. Surely you left the island with some purpose in mind, yes? I did. I'm going to the Temple of Mila. All that's transpiring in Zofia now is tied to the Earth Mother. I can feel it in my very marrow. There's more to be done than simply fighting the foes laid before us. I must learn Mila's will in all of this. I also intend to pray that she intercedes on behalf of her people. That she might save us all. I see. Just as Orm has chosen his path, it would seem you have chosen yours. Um? I'd suspected as much, but your being here confirms it. He's leading the Deliverance, isn't he? Why don't you go upstairs and see for yourself? I expect that's where you'll find what you've been searching for. Wait a sec. 
Selica? Is that really you? Selica? Um, I'm so glad to see you. I have dreamt about this day for seven years. At last, I finally found you. You have. I've missed you too, so much. Wow, that's quite the story. I'm trying to picture you swashbuckling pirates and... Yeah, just... Wow. I didn't mean to swashbuckle anyone. It just sort of happened. But forget all that for the moment. Um, you weren't really planning to fight the Regellian Empire, are you? Listen, it's not... It's not something I chose. They were the ones who attacked us. But there must be a way to resolve things other than bloodshed, no? That's a pretty thought, Selica, but I'm not sure it's true. If it were, no one would be risking life and limb on the battlefield. Is it really so naive? Zophians and Regellians are both people of Valentia, are we not? I know we can reach some kind of accord if we just try. Besides that, I... I just can't imagine Emperor Rudolph is the monster some claim him to be. It doesn't matter what sort of man he is. The Regellian Empire chose to cross Zofia's border. That's a fact. We aim to drive back the invaders. Nothing more. But why do you have to lead this rebellion? Mycin's grandson or no, you're neither knight nor noble. So why make yourself a target like this? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd swear I was speaking to a blue blood. My station doesn't matter, Selica. I'm here because I was called. I have a duty to perform, and I'll perform it. No more, and no less. Oh, um... Do you think I wanted this fight? This all started because Lima IV went and angered the Empire. If you wish to point fingers, point them at the ruler who failed his people. It's his fault we're in this mess. That's not... Well, so what if it is? Maybe you should go become king if it's such a damnably easy job! What? Selica, that's not... You're awfully free with accusations for a boy with no idea what royalty entails! And now that you're a hero, I imagine the throne is next on the list, is that it? No, it's not like that at all, Selica. I just want to keep Zofia safe. Besides, there's an heir. A princess of the royal family may have survived. If she turned up and fixed all this, I'd happily return to Ram. You could come with me, you know? It'd be like old times. Come on! There's no secret princess! The Zofian royal family is dead! But how can you be... Enough! Just enough. Go fight your war if it makes you happy. I'm going to the Temple of Mila. Goodbye. Oh, um, You... You stubborn jerk! Selica, you're one to talk about stubbornness. Jeez. Uh, damn it all. I didn't even get the chance to ask her about the village. About why she had to leave. Oh, Selica. I had so much I wanted to say to you. How did it end up like this? Alm and Selica's heartfelt reunion was dashed by heated words. And once again, the two were parted. One chose the battlefield, the other, the mother's sucker. And while they both sought to attain peace in their own way, their chances of finding it together seem to grow increasingly slim. Um, and a real clash of morals and ideals, or just like a petty breakup? Yeah. <laughs> Which, they're young, so I guess it makes sense that they can't separate those feelings. Uh, and two, my other big problem is that everything else in the game is written really well, so this one scene really stands out as like, why is this one not so good? Yeah, like... The petty breakup part is my least favorite thing about it, because, like, it's one of the reasons I don't like this relationship. Like, I can understand both Alm and Selka's viewpoints uh, at the end here, and I, I don't think either one's illegitimate, but yeah, like, I do not care about the romance between Alm and Selica, and this is this scene is the reason, or part of the reason why that is. They've only known each other for a week, and then, yeah, we just get this petty breakup scene. <laughs> 
for the most part, they're just an inoffensive straight couple. Like, yeah, they're together, and I don't really care, but they also don't piss me off, except for this scene. Yeah, like, I don't care about the relationship at all. And May is right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I somehow managed to forget you actively ship May with Celica. Um, uh, uh, I, um, Faye should be anywhere else. Um, I don't really have a backup for you. Sorry. Um, you could just enter the, a polycule with literally every female character in the game.